Hello lovely people, this is Machteld. Welcome to my channel. Um, and today I will be um, continuing <laughs> in my... Um, uh, oh, sorry. In my... Um, what did I call it? <laughs> um, yeah, my, my just my art journal, let's say. And um, this is the spread I did last time. Um, with you guys and then I did make another spread myself oh I see now that it uh, actually bled a little bit I wrote something and I went over it with um, how do you call it matte medium stuff uh, or gloss medium actually which I'm planning to I might use it now as well uh, for some of the things let's see yeah, this is the gloss one. Um, well, if you hear noise in the background, it's uh, again, uh, my son has his girlfriend over and they're having a, a wonderful time and happy time. <laughs> so yeah, just if you hear any giggling, shouting, screaming, um, it's it's them having, uh, having fun. Okay, so that's it. Let's just go on. Um, Oh, I like this actually. I didn't, yeah, it, it, it bled a little bit, uh, but it's all right. And so then we are here on this page and I saw this fabric. It's just an old sheet that I, hmm, what did I painted it with? I think it was my Kuritaki watercolor. And all of a sudden I thought like, oh, I love this color on here. And um, so maybe, do I have all my, oh no, see now I don't have my stitching stuff, but maybe I will get that um, in a minute. Um, because I, I think I might, well, I can use it as a, like this, but I feel like maybe it can flip over at some point. But let's first then make something here. I also found this lovely, I think it's probably from a cookie packet of cookies. But it's this lovely textured paper and I think you can also, yeah, like make more pattern in it. And uh, I thought it's lovely. Make a circle. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, you know, we'll, we'll find a way to use stuff. Maybe I'll... Uh, yeah, I feel like there's some gold on it. Let's see, where's that little brush I had? Well, oh, I'll use another brush. I'm not so organized, actually. Oops. Starting this video. I just started, basically. But that's okay. That's okay. Just do a little gold circle why not oh I love this stuff I mean the Inca gold but I also love this uh, this texture Wonderful. Okay. That's enough for now. And uh, now I feel like doing something on it with... I love, you know, I love circles, but I also like that donut shape, like with, so two circles. I don't know, that to me is just very, maybe I like donuts, I don't know, but I like that shape. Let's see what happens if I bleed it a little bit. Does it, does it bleed a little bit? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Let's see, shall I just cut it out? 
and see what happens. You know, cookie wrap. Cookie wrap, why not use it? <clears throat> okay. There's more. It's another beautiful day here. Really, really, really lovely. Oh, so nice, the sun. And oh, the idea that, you know, maybe in a few weeks we'll be able to really sit outside in our garden. I like that. Mm. Now I wonder, should I... Maybe I will cut out this hole. I, I think I will cut out this, this centerpiece. If I can. And I've also decided to go and make... Uh, but I, I won't do that on camera. But I've... Um, I've decided I'm going to make an, an um, I think you call it a meditation scroll, but like a stitched scroll. I've got all these wooden spools and one is empty now because I put all the um, twine or whatever on these little ice sticks. So I'm going to uh, use that scroll. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm cutting out the black. But that's okay. It's all right. Maybe even make this um, smaller, like so. I'm just fiddling, but I mean, I'm just, you know, I, I heard somebody talk today, I, I forgot who it was, about like when you have creative block and what do you do and um i guess we all sometimes have that um but you know really for me uh to be honest oh i like that i just think it's cute the best way to 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 get over that or maybe you don't get over it immediately but like is really to do something like, okay, I just saw that packaging and I thought, oh, that feels good. And then you try something on it and and it just gets the juice flowing. So I think I will stick it down first. Yeah, I think I will. I have no idea what else is going to happen, people. But that's the beautiful thing about working in this journal um, that it's all good. So, and I like it that it's really in the middle. I think this donut deserves a spot in the middle. So, I love that. Yes. And then, I think to, to give it a little bit more um, emphasis, because, I mean, I don't know how well you see it on camera, but I see it pretty clear. I'm just going to outline it a little bit. And then put this last little thingy, as if it's... Um, a little planet that escaped and you know it's circling circling around to to get back into the in the fold of the mother planet or something the mother donut okay uh, where did I put my Okay, I'm already losing stuff. I was saying, where did I put my water pencil? Oh, here. 
I put it back because I will bleed it a little bit. Ooh, it actually bleeds very, very much. Okay, cool. I don't know what this is. A uh, T radio stylo tradio. I don't know. Pentel made in Japan. Cool. Right. Well, I'm done. <laughs> no, but I, I do like that. I like this this um, kind of um, style where, yeah, maybe less is more or or. Um, I have to see. I'm just. I just took out some stuff. Some jelly prints. Like somehow I liked. I'm not sure actually now. I feel more towards these colors. Let's see. What else do I have? This is something that my friend made i think she was trying out i don't know exactly what she was trying like with what she used but it's it's probably um how do you call this uh, alcohol inks but and then it has like it's kind of raised relief but i don't know what she did that with maybe uh, some paste or a medium i don't know but she gave me some scraps uh i have wonderful scraps like this but see this color palette speaks to me here this color palette speaks to me so maybe what i will do is this kind of extend this um Mm -hmm. I like it. Yes, I'm going to use my art glitter glue just for the sake of um, uh, that it dries fast and that it's easy to um, to place. You know, like decide where it, where it needs to be. Yeah, you, you like precision, precision. Oh, well, I should have gone a little bit higher. That's the thing. That's the 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 disadvantage of glitter glue is that it's it's so strong that it sticks and you can't move it. No. What do I think about something like that? Isn't that lovely? All these different textures and uh, it feels so good, you know, also on your hands, your fingertips. Let's see, should I, or should I do it like this? I like that as well. I think I will do it like this. And this is a, a thicker paper. I think it's a, probably a watercolor paper or a mixed media paper, something like that quite thick so then I definitely will use the art glitter glue so let's see yes beautiful okay cool Just wonderful. And I think these are just little swatches I did with some kind of color that I don't. Mm -hmm. No, somehow I feel it needs to be in this corner 
so that's where it's going to be. Yes. Okay. Actually, hold on because I will get my um, I will get my uh, sewing thingy, my pin cushions, my wonderful uh, my wonderful bis cornu. <laughs> That I made well this one I made this I got from somebody purchased it before I made this one myself um, and let's see maybe I want a lighter thread this time uh, cuz I do still think that I want to uh oh. see i have this also i think this is like uh, how do you call this stuff again uh kind of a tyvek paper so very strong paper and that i embossed with kind of this geometrical shape i don't know if you can see but i love that as well but maybe that's for another page i think i will first sew this on um well and i think it's not a problem because we'll go through here i think that's fine okay using this this thread uh let's see is this a bit too small it's a bit thicker but I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try if we can uh, thread it. Yeah. Hmm, it's not easy. Yes, I got it. Cool. Okay. Cut it off. Wonderful. Maybe I'll do my whole uh, meditation scroll with this thread. I love it. Okay. And I'm thinking I don't mind if the knot, knot is on this side of the, like on the, A little bit lower. I'm just going to. I think I'm going to to pre poke a little bit. Uh, well, no, that doesn't make sense actually. That doesn't make sense. Sorry, because I won't be. It, it will be covered by the fabric. thinking though how to keep it here let's see um do i have wait sorry people for reaching but i need to clip it a little bit because otherwise it will move and I don't have my, uh, I cannot put my pins in here. Okay, I think I will do it like this. Uh, should I do a double row? I think, oh, it is difficult. Let me see. Oops, that is not easy, people. But I'm going to persevere. So yes. 
<clears throat> so I actually totally forgot to tell you last week, last Saturday, I was um uh, I had a wonderful evening at a theater because my son he had to do um yeah for his his you know his school <coughs> they they um have to had choose now their their profiles let's say for what what subjects they're gonna take um uh, and that's like based on what they think they want to do later as a profession and which is you know i mean he's now almost 16 but yeah that that's not so easy i i think for a lot of people that don't know yet what they want to do but anyway uh so then then the the assignment was that they had to uh for one day uh do like an uh yeah, how do you say apprenticeship or internship in a profession that they uh, are considering? And uh, well, for my son, because that's that's the thing he does know what he wants to do as a profession later. He wants to be a bass player, so he um, so a musician basically, an artist as he said. And so he chose to uh, spend a day with a musician, um, and and uh, well, we we know quite a few, and um, but he so he he went with a friend of uh, of mine and his uh, and his dad's um, another a, a trumpet player, and. Uh, it was really nice because he got to spend like the half the day or whole, basically the whole working day in the theater, you know, seeing the rehearsal and the sound check and the, yeah, all that stuff. And, and he could interview the uh, musicians and, uh, yeah, so he made a, he had a really lovely day. And then I went to pick him up at night um you know but first seeing the show let's say and it was such a nice show because it was it was called heroes held in dutch helden and uh, because it was about the musical um yeah sources of inspiration let's say for for all these musicians so the trumpet player his his main uh, source of inspiration let's say or his big inspiration was Louis Armstrong when he uh, grew up and uh, but there was another musician who grew up in Suriname and he was very much influenced and inspired by the the rhythms that he heard as, as a kid and there was uh, a singer a girl and she was very much inspired by the French chansons. So, so there were all these musical music styles and, and, uh, and yeah, they talked about them in a very, of course, in a theatrical way, but it was really a lovely, Ooh, see, I'm going all, all kind of crooked. I don't know if the page is crooked or the fabric or me, but you know, goes with the flow kind of, it's okay um but anyway so that was a lovely lovely evening and then after he was done he said yeah now i know for sure of course i want to be an artist so that's what it's going to be so let's see yeah and of course this covers up this whole um page but uh, you know i'm not finished maybe i will do something on this or i could have stitched on it maybe and i still can yeah but i liked it i think i'm going to no one more stitch actually to then i'm at the edge and then i think i'm going to knot it at the back where I also started, so 
maybe take a small back stitch and let's see oops and let's see oh 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 no i'm all right so tie a knot tie a knot here one more Ooh, there goes sniffing maybe even sneezing so and you know what i can leave this long because i can put like a, a dangle on it and then we have like a how do you call that bookmark okay So this can flip up like so, lovely. And I might sew on this actually. Shall I do that? Why not? Why not? Let's just do it. Elephazine. So I'm just going to do some simple running stitch, probably. Okay. Threaded my needle. Yeah, I'm, I'm not used to sewing on 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 uh, camera, but it's okay. It's okay. Why not? So yeah, I feel like I've been so busy lately. Like um, I haven't been able to watch everybody else <laughs> that i like to watch let's say or um no i've been out and about a lot oops oh now now i won't be able to thread my needle with this fluffy fluffy stuff how am i going to do that you know what i do have a needle threader hold on but where? Where is it when I need it, right? Let's see. I do have one in uh, in this needle book that I once made. I don't even dare to show it because it's so uh, scrappy. I, I will definitely have to make another one. Yeah, wow. Okay, wacht wat. Here it is. That's another nice project to make. Uh, well, I saw a wonderful Husif by Marion's World. And now I think Rachel is starting one and uh, from Roxy Creations. And it's, yeah, that worked. So maybe that's a nice project as well. Once you get into sewing, Oof, there's, there's so much you can do oh, to see if I can, I should have done this, of course, before I, I, you know, but why make your life easy, right? Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking, should I, should I go a whole row? Or should I just, well, I'm going to do a few more stitches. Okay. Yeah, this is, ha this happens when you, when you go with the flow. Well, it happens to me anyway. You, you get yourself into trouble, basically. But, um, you know, who says cre creativity um, is easy? Or, or uh, that's why I say if you if you if you get stuck, if you feel stuck, 
just do something and you will end up somewhere else where you were not before so okay oh i do like that i don't know i don't even know if you can see it very well because it's so all neutral tones but um and this i don't know if it's because of the paint or this this uh, cotton sheet it's an old cotton bed sheet but it's actually not so yeah it's okay but sometimes i see other people sewing through a cotton bed sheet and it's it goes so smooth and yeah this one feels a bit hard like stiff in a way okay i think like so uh, and then back again i hope i mean i mean, I mean frame even but okay okay i think it it gets easier uh, you know the further down i get of course so don't know how far i'll get on camera though because but isn't this a lovely project maybe i should just uh do this off camera. Maybe I will do that and then next time I will show you. How about that? I think that would be better because you get the idea, but once it's done, it will you know have a different look. And then this is underneath now. I don't know, I'm not so sure about this anymore. Uh let's see. I will continue this off of camera, but Let's see, where are my... To look. I feel somehow like this needs to be a different color. Like, maybe... Or shall I do a blue? Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like it's... I want a different color here. So let's see what happens if we do that. Where is my... Here's my water pen. These are the... Um, graphite XL blocks from Derwent's. Yeah, I like that better somehow. I do like that better. Yeah. Strange, yeah? But I do. Okay. Uh, how about here? How about here also a little bit? A little bit. Maybe because I'm so, um, uh, you know, now, now kind of inspired by that blue color that I want to see more blue on this. Like so. Yeah. Very subtle. Okay. Well, I think that's it. I think that's it for this page. This was a fast one. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, but I will do the rest, the sewing, off camera and um, show you when I come back next time. Okay, I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day. And I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.